Alrighty, this is my 1981 Toyota pickup SR5. Uh, I ordered the Trail Gear uh, three wire GM conversion for the alternator. Just wanted to show you the way it's wired up and you keep charge light functionality. Now, it should be noted that my truck has the FEN alternator, this one right here that has the external voltage regulator and I'm replacing it because O'Reilly's is really the only one that has this from Import Direct and I've gone through a billion of them and they go high voltage as you can see and I've checked the wiring, the grounds, everything. I promise you I diagnosed the living crap out of it. I would keep swapping those out under warranty and then finally work but almost all of them are bad that come from the factory. So I decided to go with the GM1 wire and uh, the way you wire it up is the red wire goes to the post for battery output. The white wire gets tagged into the yellow wire, which goes to your charge light. This is what used to connect into the external voltage regular right, bleh, external voltage regulator right there. And uh, then I ran a new heavier gauge wire to an 80 amp fuse, ran that to my positive post, and then I also did new grounds. So if you look back here, that right there is a ground wire going to the engine. And then I did another ground wire from the engine to the frame, and then from the frame to the battery. And then I connected this original one back to the chassis, so there's tons of ground, so everything charges correctly. And I measured the uh, the resistance of it, and it's like 0.5 ohm or something. It's really good. It's basically the same as the test leads. So I'll show you that it's functioning. Alrighty, we neutral key on. You've got your charge, brake, oil, all that. There it goes, turns off. Show you take the parking brake off. It's not having that issue because those are linked, the charge and the brake light. I'll post a link to a diagram that I made by stitching together a bunch from the Haynes manual. And uh, yeah, it's working great. At idle. We're at 14.2. It used to not get any power until you revved up a little bit. So let's see where it goes if I give it some more beans. 14.42, beautiful. Let's switch to amperage on the amp clamp. Looking at charging at six amps at idle. Rev it up. About almost eight. Battery's probably pretty charged, so yeah, runs great. That's how you wire it up. That's how I did it at least, and it's working great.